These guys are police academy graduates. They just took their final test. Ooh, nerve-wracking. <sighs> now they're waiting for the results. Some of them are freaking out. Can you answer all these questions? Are you smart enough to be a cop? Let's find out. Richard Moore called the police. Ooh, nice cactus. Someone stole a safe full of money. He looks angry. Look, they broke down the door to the safe. All my savings were in there. Dude put it in a bank. You must catch the criminals. Yeah, don't worry. Calm down and tell me everything. Well, I had made toast. Just needed some jam. I started to open the jar, and bam, it slipped out of my hands and fell on my cat. She got scared and started running. What a mess. She left stains everywhere. I took the cat to the bathroom, of course. When I got back, the safe was gone. The policeman inspected the room. Hmm. He arrested more. Why? When you're washing a cat, don't put it on your head. The cat wouldn't leave stains under the safe. That means Richard was lying. Oh, I'm so nervous. Let's go over all the questions. Man, she's sweating like crazy. Two twin brothers lived in a city. Miller was a wealthy businessman. He loved cats and cash by the looks of it. The other brother, Rico, was a gambler. He lost his savings in a card game. The police got a call from Miller's house. That's the rich guy. A policeman arrived at the scene. Not such a big house. One of the brothers was lying on the floor. The second twin just stood there, speechless. Rico came over. We were just chatting, then he fell. Really, he just fell down, boom. Maybe it was something he ate. What am I going to do without him? What's wrong here? And there's a cat in every riddle. Mr. Miller didn't talk to the policeman. It was his twin brother Rico. Ooh, the switcheroo. He was out of cash and super jealous of his brother. How do I know? Rico has no scars, unlike Miller. Probably one of his fancy cats. The police were investigating a bank robbery. They couldn't find the criminal. Until a week later, they finally tracked him down. But it was too late. The criminal was already at the airport. He already boarded a plane. Ah, oh, man, he's gone. He was gone. No one knew where. Airport staff said that tracking the flight would take several hours. Luckily, the police didn't have to wait that long. They got an anonymous tip. Here's the message. Where did the criminal go? Tap sing, tap sing, tap singer ten. Ta water, water girl. The message was in code. Look, Washington. That's where the criminal went. Oh man, I was way off. A policeman was walking down the street. Suddenly, a man ran out of a store. Oh, my God! The policeman heard a saleswoman yelling, Thief! Thief! 
the chase was on. Da -na 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 -na. The criminal ran through a park with his hands up in the air for no reason. He tripped over a root and fell into a puddle. A dirty shirt. That might help ID him later. The criminal left the park still with his hands way up in the air. He ran into the subway with his hands in the air. The policeman couldn't see him. Hmm, where is he? But he did see which car he boarded. Aha, there were five people on it. Quick, gotta arrest him before the next station. Who is the criminal? No more cats in these ones. Bummer. I thought about this one for ages. The guy fell into a puddle, so his front is all dirty. Three people are covering their bellies with bags. This guy's wearing a sweater. I'm guessing he had time to change. The policeman lost sight of him, remember? Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's him for sure. He's the only one with dirty knees. A gas station manager called the police. Some guy just stole all his money and sped off. The manager saw what the thief was driving. He had driven off on a red motorbike. Classy. The police rushed after him. The thief sped into a tunnel and hid inside. The tunnel had three exits. The police called for reinforcements. All the exits were blocked. This guy had no chance. A cyclist came out of the first tunnel. Well, I didn't see anyone else in them! A car came out of the second tunnel. I only saw police cars, nothing else! A truck came out of the third tunnel. Southern accent time. No one was there except for me. Where did the thief go? The motorbike couldn't just disappear. The guy hid it somewhere. The truck driver's in on it. He's hiding in the back of the truck. Ah, the motorbike's sleeping. Cute. A new limited edition phone was going on sale tomorrow. Just one problem. It was gone. The store owner called the police. The cops asked to see the security footage. Let's check it out. Uh-huh. Okay. Is that all? Yes, we didn't have many customers. Ooh, not going well. I need to interrogate your seller. I got here this morning, and I didn't see anything. I bet it was a customer, though. She must have smuggled it out of the building. The police immediately knew where the phone was. What did they see? We didn't see the second customer leave the building. Here. And I can see her hat and scarf on the shelf. There were no customers at all on that day. Oh, the seller stole the phone. She changed clothes. Then she came back in, pretending to be a new customer. Molly was found lying in a staircase. All right. Da -da 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 -da. It was near her apartment. Found it. Dispatch sent over a detective. The attack was recent, about an hour ago. The detective was sure the criminal was still in the building. He interviewed everyone who was home at the time. George said he slept all day. He worked the night shift. He didn't see anything. Chris said he came home from work like five minutes ago. So he had nothing to do with the crime. Gloria said she watched TV all day. She didn't even leave the house. Who's lying? 
Yo, everybody loves having their hands up for some reason. George and Gloria were home during the crime. Chris lived above Molly. The elevator's broken, so Chris must have seen her on his way home. I almost made a mistake on this last one. The police found two girls in a house. They were both tied up. Ugh. What happened here? She kidnapped me! She did it! She kidnapped me! No! I'm the victim! Which one of them is lying? They like jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Think logically. You can't tie yourself up. The girl with her legs tied is obviously lying. And guys, the test results are out. Let's go. Wait a minute. I'm sure there was a mistake in one of the questions. Do you know where it was? 